Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, as you know, if you've seen any other video, that room. Oh, you darn thing. That room is our room. And the room right there that you can't see behind the wall is Jacob's room. But Pooja. <laughs> wants um, her own space and I'd like more space anyway so we're turning the living room uh, into her own room with a cardboard wall that I might paint in the future and it's gonna have a cardboard door too would I I think I'm just gonna do it right here Oh, I've never had a knife this nice before. It was $3 at Menards. Oh, I've had knives. Alrighty. Okay, knife. Listen here. You had my hopes. Okay. Wow, that looks ridiculous. Awesome! <coughs> so now we have this big old piece. <laughs> this is her room. Ta-da! It's done. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is get that knife out of the way of my foot. Is I think I'm gonna put, I don't know if I'm gonna put the clear sign facing towards the hallway or if I'm gonna put this side or not. I don't know. I like it this way because I'm gonna be here the whole time. I don't want I was to just, see this. I was just <laughs> thinking about like which side are we gonna paint first to cover up this. I think I just this way. Anyway, so I'm gonna do, I was either gonna do it like this and then add like a, another one this way, but I feel like that's problematic because if we wanna take it in pieces and take it apart, these are big old wide pieces. It can't just like move it to the side to put stuff in. So I think I'm gonna do it this way. And stand it up straight like so. And it is now occurring to me that I forgot that how cardboard works. Yeah. And since there's folds here, <coughs> as you can see it folding in pieces, um, I need something right down the middle to keep it standing up straight. So that's a problem. One that I can surely fix because I'm cool. Um, anyway, so now I'm gonna do like a few more of these and tape them together. You know how I used to pronounce bipolar? 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 <laughs> and so, I don't know why, but back then I was like, this sounds very accurate. <laughs> Bipolar? Yeah, about that. Until I heard Gatika say it at one point. <laughs> I was like, my life's been a lie. <laughs> it has.
Okay, so now I am, I marked this pen, with pencil. I'm just cutting it, trimming this part off right here because it sticks out and I want it to, to match like flush with each other and then I'll tape it together like that so there's no gap here. I'm only doing that for the two parts that are disconnected. Okay, now I am just gonna tape along this side. I don't want, I'm gonna put all of the structural wooden dowels I'm using and the tape on the side with this, these markings, the red markings, because the other side's clear and easy to paint with, like to paint over. This side, I might just like put a curtain over it. It's gonna face towards the hallway over there. So yes, I'm, I'm just using packing tape. Okay, now I bought these wooden dowels. So the smaller one I'm gonna maybe put on the top for structure and this one will be on the bottom because it's stronger. Maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. But basically because there's folds right here in every like so many inches, there's folds when you try to stand it up, it just bends down in on itself. Um, so I'm putting these here and taping it so it can't fold in half can't bend, it'll just be one straight piece of cardboard. I'm also gonna tape it. Hey, it worked! We're finally building a wall. How do you like your wall? It's good. It's coming it's, along good. It's one fifth done. I forgot to record, but I ended up just, I already had this thick stick at the bottom and then I had this, this less thick stick up here, but I moved it down so that it touches right there. And then I got smaller sticks and put one right up there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't account for the physics. My finger. <laughs> I didn't account for the physics, but it's standing up by itself because of that little flap up there without me having to tape it or anything, which I still will probably tape it. But yeah, so it's doing that by itself, which makes my life easier. And um, yeah, so then we're just gonna, by way, I mean, I, there's a gap here because of the baseboards. It sticks out a little bit so it can't go up against the wall so I'll probably just like cut a little bit in down there and push it up against the wall all the way. And then I just have to make five more of these panels Good. and place them there. Okay, so I put tape right down the middle of the two panels. I'm gonna do, I just keep adding one panel on, but I put tape down the middle of the ugly side. And then I only put it on one side for now. Then I'm gonna take it and flip it over. Like that. And thankfully the tape stuck. And then, I'm gonna put tape, while it's folded over, I'm gonna put tape all along this side. Okay, so I finished taping uh, this whole side once it was folded over. So if we flip it back over, 
it's gonna close like an accordion like closet like closet doors that fold in over themselves like an accordion and i made sure that the end with the cutout for the baseboard when it's laying out flat and the red side goes up this way the side will hit up against there okay so i put this on top like it's gonna go both blank cardboard sides go together but obviously i'm not gonna tape it when it's all folded up so i'm gonna have to move this Okay, well that definitely took me a minute to figure out what I was doing. Anyway, so this one I'm holding here is going to be my third panel, making sure that the part that bends up towards the ceiling at the top is stays at the top with the rest of those. So when this is completely flat with cardboard side up, or red side up, but we're going to go with cardboard side, the first thing we did was tape red side completely straight. So this side is the one that we taped when it was bent. So we're gonna do the opposite for the second spot to tape. This one, we're gonna tape the cardboard side completely straight. And then the other side, the red side, is what we'll tape when this is bent over. Now I am going to fix that panel by putting by putting a couple more of these small rods right, I believe it was like right here and right here because it didn't break by falling because I hadn't had it secured to the ceiling yet. And then once I fix that, I'm gonna put it in the, um, I'll put it right there and then continue doing the taping pattern so it will fold. And then what I'm gonna do is put it up put the wall up probably and secure it to the ceiling this time, maybe. And then I'll try to measure and create the last the last panel by making sure it's the right width because it's gonna be pretty small, like a foot. And then I will try to tape that last one while this wall is standing up. I don't know if that's gonna go well though, so we'll see. Okay, so my plan is to have this push pin with four strings of yarn roughly the same length um, attached to this push pin. And what I want to do, if I can get my phone to phone cord to work with me, what I want to do is put the push pin right up there in the ceiling and then have the four strings hot glued like that to the cardboard flat. That way it can't fall backwards. I mean, it could technically fall forwards, but I don't think it's gonna do that because of how the cardboard thing is, it would just hit the ceiling. So I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up and we're gonna see how badly this is gonna fail. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> This is Pooji's room now, the living room, and my posters. <laughs> and uh, this is what I've got done on the wall so far. Four panels are up. Um, the bottom's not as dirty yet, the sides, because I haven't finished that, but I was attempting to do this whole string thing so it wouldn't fall, and then I realized the push pins do go in through the cardboard. So I didn't need to do that spider looking thing in the first place. So I'm gonna have to take that down and throw that away. Um, yeah, the ceiling fan should not hit if she was to ever turn it on. I don't think I'll ever turn it on. And then... Wait, doesn't the AC come through there? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. So she's got the air conditioner room. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you can touch it. Like it's fine. Like if you accidentally just go like that a little, mm -hmm. like 
it's not gonna fall. It's just gonna be a little awkward. <laughs> but yeah, we have to have like this little hole here for yeah. the uh, um, internet cord or whatever. But yeah, so she's gonna get a different bed at some point in time in like a month or two or something. But this is what she has for now. And then tomorrow I'm gonna cut out a spot for the door, probably like right here. And then I'll cover, finish the last panel. It's gonna be a really short panel right over here. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the side yet. So that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm trying to peer in, but it's not focusing. Okay, anyway, so here is the update on the wall so far. Um, it's like, it's sturdy enough. So, I have all the push pins in. I don't need the spider looking thing over there anymore. I figured out the push pins do just fine. Um, the only part is like the bottom. You can see it kind of like goes in there. It's not the sturdiest, which I'm going to fix. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I have to do this door part first. Out of all the sections, you have one, two, three sec wide sections. Um, in between the wooden dowels, the wooden rods. So I'm gonna do the third section right here for the door. And I am just gonna go as far up towards this um, wooden part as possible. And then I'm actually gonna stop the door right up there where that little line is, that cut out. And then I'm gonna curve the door on the sides like that. Yeah, so I have the curve markings drawn out it's i just like sketched it from hand just like freehanding it but now i have to figure out how to somehow draw a line a straightish line straight down all the way to the bottom with it standing up so i can cut out the both sides of the door so i'll be back when that's done okay i got my markings done all the way down it was a pain in the butt, but I got them on both sides, so it's just time to cut. Door! I finally got the door cut out. I have my little curves at the top, they look so nice. And this is what it looks like from the inside so far. This door actually, like, if you pick up the handle, it can fold in half because that's just like where I cut it. So if we ever need it, we could have a random half door. <laughs> I don't know what that would be for. That rhymed. <laughs> that did rhyme. But yeah, so this is the door for now until I finish cutting out the side and then re-tape it back probably. Or I might not even cut out the side, I might just tape it on both sides so that it opens inwards. But now I have to do this final panel. Okay, so I got the final panel's structure complete. It's just the same as the other panels except for the very top where I carry the fold that goes to the ceiling. Instead of having it go all the way across, I only did it to um, right before these little flaps that are gonna fold. When I go to put this up in the little slot that it fits in, that part goes up towards the ceiling and then these flaps that were on the side are going up against the wall so that I can put push pins in those as well to make sure that it's, the whole wall is extra sturdy. Um, so if I had left, if I had not cut out that little square at the top, the cardboard would have been folding in on itself right there, so. And I'm going to stick with the same folding pattern that I created for the entire rest of the wall. So this one, I believe, was a flat piece. No, hold on. <laughs> Let me go over here and look. So, all right, so this piece of tape is sticking up. So it means on the other side, it was a flat piece of tape and then I flipped it over and folded it. So this is going to be folded in. This was a flat piece of tape. Actually, a better way to describe it as is um, this side over here was a straight piece down 
with the cardboards together flat on the ground. And then this side was taped when it was curved, when they were folded on top of each other and I taped the curved edges together. And then it switched this side, the side with the blank cardboard became the flat piece. And then this side of it became they rested on top of each other and then I taped it while they were folded. Then it switches one more time right here where the door was. If I close the door, this was taped um, on the other side, the opposite side. It would have been the flat piece and then this was taped while it was curved as you can see because so it was taped just like this when it was folded. So we have to switch one more time again. Since this side was the curved, that means that now this side needs to be taped when it's curved. So the straight piece, while it lays flat like this, will go on this side. And I have to do it while it's standing up instead of on the floor because I've already pinned all these up just so I can see better what's going on. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> 